Hello and welcome back. This is video number three and this is all about what Google wants and the strategy. Now we don't know exactly whether this is true or not, but based on the data that we have seen and based on the data that not only has worked for us, but for many others is that Google likes brands. Now it's not necessarily that they are particular liking brands because brands like make a lot of money or anything like that but what we've realized are certain variables that make a brand stand out so they don't exactly go out and tell people that they like brands but based on the data that we've seen we have seen brands rank better so why is that why is it that Google seems to rank brands better it's because brands last long term and they oftentimes provide value. Remember, going back to what makes the visitors happy, it's the value that they are offering, right? At least the majority. So you'll notice that brands tend to have a really good following of fans that love their content. So why is that important? Well, their concern isn't really necessarily the brand, but giving people that are searching certain keywords on Google or YouTube, giving them what they want. Now, you'll notice that brands attract a consistent following as well. So Google likes it when they find that there's not only a good following, but a good engaging and good interaction. So their fans click and engage with their content more. And YouTube likes that. They love engagement. If you take a look at videos that rank really well, you'll notice commonality and you'll notice that they have a lot of likes. They have a lot of comments. Essentially, they have engagement. And engagement is essentially the currency of YouTube. So whether somebody gets a bad comment or a good comment, a comment is a comment. A comment essentially, if you think about it, is worth about $1. Now, we're just saying that because it's like currency, engagement. Now this means there is a higher CTR or in other words, click-through rate. So if you have fans that really love a specific brand, they're most likely going to come back over and over again, right? So higher engagement is what Google likes to see. Higher engagement means that the fans really like the content. So this is based on the data that we have received and based on the data that we have observed. So the strategy here is to make sure that you look like a brand and you do backlinking like a brand. Make sense? So what does backlinking like a brand look like? Well, if you think about the visitors that are coming to that brand, they are looking at it, they're engaging with it, they're sharing it with their friends. Now, like I said earlier, there's no exact, this is the way it is, but based on the data that we have gathered over the years and what we see, what works and what hasn't, we can safely say that looking like a brand will be better for your YouTube channel. And of course, gathering a fan base and a good following that is interacting with your content is also key. Now, if you look at brands, they have many social properties besides YouTube channels. They've got Facebook.com, they have Twitter, they have Snapchat, and more. So it only makes sense for your brand to have the same properties in your brand name and interlinking to each other. Right. So let's say, for example, that you upload a video to YouTube, then it's going to make sense for you to post that same YouTube video or share it via Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat and more. So essentially, we're interlinking them together. And that kind of brings us to this strategy, which is the ring. You're basically interlinking everything together. So like I said, for example, you post a video on YouTube, it needs to be pushed to Twitter, your Facebook fan page and other social properties. And fortunately, because everything is going to be automated, once you do that, 
it will trigger and it will automate the whole process. So it makes sense because your fans will be located at these different social properties. So some people will be at Facebook, some people will prefer Twitter, and some people will prefer maybe Snapchat or Instagram and other social properties. But if you think about it, it sounds very time consuming and tedious, right? And yes, it is, but once everything is set up, it will actually make your life a lot easier. But like I said, don't worry, we're going to show you how to speed things up with a few dollars. So with that said, let's move on to video number four.